Hello and welcome to ABN News. I am Chilima Ejiogu. First, the headlines. Buhari swears in acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. U.S. President-elect Trump bars journalists from first meeting with Obama. Hussein Bolt Mufara Make final IAAF shortlist. Now the news and details. President Muhammad Buhari has sworn in Justice Walter Onogen as the Chief Justice of Nigeria in acting capacity. At the swearing-in ceremony on Thursday, President Buhari asked the acting chief judge to be on his toes as his swearing-in came at a time the nation was going through trying times. The president congratulated President Siso, Justice Muhammad Mohamed for a job well done and asked Justice Onogen to join hands with the administration to tackle insecurity and corruption in the land. Justice Onogen, the most senior judge in the Supreme Court, is replacing Justice Mohammed, who attained the mandatory 70 years of retirement age. Justice Onogen will act pending the appointment of the substantive Chief Justice of Nigeria by the President, who would have to forward the names of appointee to the Senate for confirmation. However, the National Judicial Council had on October 5th formally received the nomination of Justice Onogen as the new CJN for onward recommendation to President Buhari. A federal high court in Abuja has granted bail to former aviation minister Femi Fani Kaide in the sum of 50 million naira and one surety in like sum. The court say that the surety must be resident in Abuja and own a landed property in the capital city. The former minister is to submit his passport and other travel documents to the court. The presiding judge, Justice John Tosso, has directed that Mr. Fanny Kayode be remanded in Koja prison until he meets the conditions of his bail application. Mr. Fanny Kayode was arrested on Friday, October 21st by operatives on the anti-graft agency as he left the Federal High Court premises in Lagos. His arrest is connected to the recent 17 court charge of mon money laundering to the tune of 4.9 billion naira filed by the EFCC in Abuja against him. He has been arraigned on fresh charges bordering on corruption, criminal breach of trust and diversion of funds by the Economic Financial Crimes Commission EFCC. Fanny Kade, who was also spokesman for the Good Luck Jonathan presidential campaign, has pleaded not guilty to the five-count charge. The former aviation minister has described his arrest as efforts to silence him. And now on business news. Operatives of the Department of State Security on Thursday arrested some unregistered border change operators in Lagos in Abuja. Also raided by the DSS, operatives were registered BDCs, operators who were accused of selling the dollar above 400 naira. The development forex dealers said forced some of the BDC operators to seek means of selling foreign currencies in their possession, especially dollars, pounds and euros as stipulated rates. On Wednesday, the DSS had raided the offices of some BDC in Lagos and Abuja, arresting operators selling above the stipulated exchange rates. The DSS operatives posed as end users who came to purchase dollars from the BDCs. After surveying the market for exchange rate offering, they arrested some BDC operators who sold above the Central Bank of Nigeria's stipulated price. The president Association of Buda Change Operators Alhaji Aminu Gwadabe said the association had this week inaugurated committees to ensure that members complied with its regulations on exchange rates. He said APCON was working with the ACBN to ensure that speculators, illegal operators and errant members were dealt with. Guadabe added that licensed dealers had agreed with the central bank and the security agencies to enforce a rate of 390 naira to 400 naira to the dollar. But economic and financial experts said the approach of arresting operators would not work. The Nigeria equities market recorded gains at the close of trading on the floor of the Nigerian stock exchange on Thursday and in six straight days of losses.
The Nigerian stock exchange market capitalization rose to 9.26 trillion naira from 9.1 trillion naira, while the all share index appreciated to 26,221.75 basis points from 26,173.69 basis points. A total of 137.638 million shares valued at 990.638 million naira exchanged hands in 3,283 deals. The equity market closed positive at advancing by 0.18% to settle the year-to-date run at minus 8.45%. The volume and value of transactions, however, declined by 5.80% and 4.32% each in comparison to Wednesday's trading. 16 stock appreciated in value while 20 part at the end of Thursday's trading activities. The highest gain encounters for the day included Airline Services and Logistics PLC, Guarantee Trust Bank PLC, Vitaform Nigeria PLC, Fitzon Healthcare PLC and Zenith Bank PLC, which appreciated by 4.69%, 4.65%, 4.6% and 4.17% respectively. On the other hand, Cadbury Nigeria PLC, Fort Oil PLC, Total Nigeria PLC, Nigerian Aviation Handling Company PLC, and Caverton Offshore Support Group PLC lost the most by 9.65%, 8.5%, 8.19%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 8.9%, 
to address ambiguities that could deter smooth electoral process in future. EU Electoral Observer Mission to Zambia Chief Observer Cecil Kienji said certain legal provisions on elections could be redrafted for clarity to create an environment where people are not disfranchised from the polls. She said the grade 12 school certificate requirement for candidates wishing to contest the polls was a deterrent factor in the electoral process as most people were disfranchised. Ms. Kayang noted that women were the most affected by the educational requirements which needed to be revisited before the next general elections. She said the Electoral Commission of Zambia should decentralize its operations and rely less on local government officials and administrative structures in managing elections. She said this year's elect elections demonstrated that there was always room for improvement in the electoral process. Africa's government has banned the production, importation, and sale of alcohol in sachets on health grounds. The small plastic bags containing rum, vodka, or other spirits are popular with those on a budget costing between $0.35 cents and $1.65. The ban was aimed at minimizing the impact of alcohol on young people, especially students, government, and spokesman Bruno Kuhn said. A ban on the sale of water in plastic bags led to protests two years ago. They were banned by the Ivorian authorities in a bid to reduce pollution. The decision to ban the saturates of alcohol was taken after a cabinet meeting on Wednesday and had been proposed by the Ministry of Commerce. Cameroon, Malawi and Senegal have also banned the sale and production of alcohol in sachets in recent years. We're going to a short break now. More news when we return. Stay tuned. <music> 